Jai Gurudev, Bali says, Father, you mentioned a vast realm that contains none of the elements we know, no lakes, no mountains, no sky, only a supreme light exists there. Can you tell me more about this realm? Virokana says, Yes, my son, this realm is a unique and infinite domain surpassing the three worlds. It lacks all familiar features like lakes, oceans, mountains and even gods like Vishnu. Only one entity exists there, the supreme light, omnipotent and omnipresent, yet silent and inactive. Bali says, Who rules this strange and vast realm and who is the minister you spoke of that carries out all actions? Virukana says, The supreme light is the king of this realm and his minister acts on his behalf. This minister brings about what doesn't exist and alters what does. Despite being insentient and ignorant, he performs all actions for his master, the king, who remains in peace. Bali says, Father, this story is both wonderful and unheard of. Can you explain more about this minister and the king? The minister is incredibly powerful, so much so that even the combined strength of all gods and demons cannot challenge him. He is not Indra, the god of death, or any of other deity you might think of. It was this minister who truly overpowered the demons, not Vishnu. Even gods derive their power from him. Bali says, how can such a powerful minister be defeated? Virokana says, this minister can only be defeated by his own master, the king. When the king wishes, the minister can be easily defeated. He is so powerful that his breath creates and sustains the three worlds. However, if you can conquer this minister with a focused mind, free of delusion and ignorance, you will be a true hero. What happens when this minister arises or retires? Virokana says, when the minister arises, the three worlds manifest like a blossoming lotus at sunrise. When he retires, the worlds become dormant. Conquering him means conquering all worlds and everything within them. If he is not conquered, then nothing is truly conquered, regardless of what you achieve in this world. How can I attain absolute perfection and eternal bliss? Father, my son, strive with all your might to conquer this minister. Overcoming him, despite all difficulties and obstacles, is the path to absolute perfection and eternal bliss. Jai